Hi, I'm Tina Ann Middleton, author of the Forestville series, and I would like to welcome you today to The Writing Journey, where we inspire and encourage each other in the craft of writing. Today, we'll talk about personal preferences in writing. We'll be right back. So, I decided today we're just going to have some fun. And we're going to talk about how we like to write. I'm not, I don't mean genre or style. I mean personal comfort preferences. For instance, how much at a time when you write, how much at a time do you write? Do you write in a long marathon of writing for the day? Sometimes when I'm on Facebook and I'm reading about these other authors, uh, they'll talk about spending hours writing. Wow. Do you write in short spurts? Just maybe 30, 45 minutes. You write and then go do something and then come back and write some more. That's actually the way I like to do it. I don't know if I'm attention deficit disorder or what. Um, I think I get easily distracted. That's part of it. Some of it is um, I get distracted by things like Facebook, social media. While I'm on that, let me encourage you, if you like these videos, please be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notifications of future videos. Also, like me on Facebook, follow me on Facebook and Twitter and my Amazon author page. So, yeah, social media can be a wonderful thing, can also be distracting. Part of my issue with the not writing in long marathons also is I do work a full-time job. I work at the VA hospital in Shreveport. When we get home, there are just other obligations, other things to do besides looking at social media. So it's hard to get in here and get in that writing groove. My husband is really good about taking some of those home obligations so I can come in here and write. Also though, I spend all day on the computer at work. So when I get home, my eyes are already kind of tired. My neck is already kind of tired. I have arthritis in my neck. Doing it in short spurts is a lot easier on the eyes and on the neck. So, and by the way, if I sound a little froggy to you today, I'm fighting with a case of bronchitis, but I'm going to do my best to do this well so you can understand me. Uh, you know, I was talking about writing in short spurts. This could also be why book three of my Forestville series is taking me a lot longer to get it finished. I'm still working on that because I write in short spurts. Now. What is your favorite position? In other words, what is the most comfortable way for you to work? Do you prefer to sit at a desktop? You know, at a desk, you got your big computer and you're working away there. Do you have a laptop and you like to sit in a favorite chair and work on your laptop? Um, I tend to sit at the big computer because it's easier for me to see it. But I do have a laptop. I call it Susie because it's an ASUS, A-S-U-S. Uh, yes, we name our uh, things around the house. No, I have not named the big one, but I did name the laptop. But I like to, I have the laptop if I want it. But this one is where I sit because it's easier for the eyes. What do you like to do? Where is your writing space? In other words, do you like to be out in the flow of traffic in your home or at a library, somewhere where there are people around? Do you like to hear, kind of hear that in the background? Do you have a hidey hole where you go to a room that nobody else can come in there while you're writing? Uh, my my brother told me when he was writing, just hand him a chunk of raw meat every now and then and stay out of the way. So are you, are you like that? It's private. Leave me alone. Let me write. I'm probably somewhere in between myself. 
Um, please don't feed me raw meat. And if you come in and talk to me, I probably can turn my attention away and talk to you as long as we don't do it for too long because then I need to get back to the book. As it is, I write in short spurts. Uh, my computer is out of the flow of traffic. It's not an area where I've got people all around me, but neither do I close the door and lock it and tell people to leave me alone. How about creature comforts? You know, for instance, when I write, I like to have a cup of coffee with flavored creamer or a cup of tea or a bottle of water. What do you like? Do you like to have a little snack in there with you? Or do you prefer no food, no drink, just work? Um, sometimes I'll have a snack, maybe some nuts or something like that, a cookie, an apple that I've cut up. I don't sit here with a full meal, uh, but I, I do like to have a little snack sometimes while I'm working. Music. Do you like to listen to music while you're writing? Or do you prefer to keep it completely quiet? You know, it's funny. I was thinking about this right before we started. When I'm balancing the checkbook or paying bills, I like to have music. I'll, I'll play the Gaither Vocal Band. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll play the Gaither Vocal Band because I enjoy that music. Excuse me just a moment. There we go. Try not to sound too froggy. But um, when I'm writing or reading or doing stuff on the computer, I don't listen to music. It's, it's too distracting. It's like it divides my brain. So writing, reading, reading on the computer, no music. But when I'm just paying bills, you know, some little unimportant thing like that, then I'll, uh, I'll have the music. What about clothes? I mean, do you tend to like keep on what you would wear to work? Do you like to be comfortable? I like soft and comfortable myself. In the summertime, shorts. As soon as I get home from work, change into shorts. On the weekends, shorts. In the uh, wintertime, I like to wear either scrubs or knit pants. We live in Louisiana. It's uh, generally not very cold here unless we get one of those really weird cold fronts. So scrubs, lightweight knit pants, perfect. Uh, here's one that I, I like to think about. Do you, do you have a furry or feathered companion that you like to have in the room with you? Um, maybe a dog. You know, dogs are great company. If, if you can get it to stay in there with you and curl up at your feet, as long as it doesn't get distracted and bark and scare you out of your skin. What about a cat? You know, a cat will curl up and keep you company and cats don't bark. If your cat barks, get it to the vet. Uh, is there another pet? A bird, fish, iguana? Do you like to have your pet for company? Or do you prefer not to even have an animal in the room with you? Now, for me, right now we don't have pets, but I do love dogs and I do love cats. I don't want an iguana, thank you. You know, writing can be hard work, but we can make it fun. We can make it easier by working with our own comfort preferences. However you do it, just make sure that you just write. Have a great week.